have fun. That's the main thing. So keep it simple, keep it sketchy. And don't worry about details. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna try to do an impression of Mark. Don't don't think about it like you're trying to draw his features exactly how they are. Um, it, it's sort of hard, you know, with caricature you've got to try to simplify things a little bit more and and cartoon them. I see his, the bottom of his face is being much smaller and like I said he's got like that burp, like a beak His brow kind of comes out in an unusual way here, and his little eyes, little beady eyes. And so I'm exaggerating, pushing these shapes a lot more than we actually will see here. Okay, so I decided to put his this lower part of his face in this size shape and make more of the weight up here. I'm noticing things like how his forehead comes down and then his brow pops out and I'm going to exaggerate and push that. All right, so and his ear kind of goes over his bandana. I'm pushing that. I'm exaggerating a little bit more. So I'm adding a lot more character here. Let's zoom in a little bit more on this. All right, so now what I'm going to do, and again, this is still quick sketchy. I'm not going to worry about details. I'm going to just kind of quickly um, make a few marks here. kind of define what I've already started here, just a little bit more. So this is going to be a little bit rounder up here on top. It's going to come down. His nose kind of comes in like this, it hits this little bump, and then kind of comes out bird-like, his eyelashes here, his nostril is going to be pushed to about here, and his overall nose shape I'm going to simplify, again not worrying about details, nostril kind of starts here and goes quite far. Look at where that you put that eyelash and where the other eye is going to start. The other eye is actually going to start more about here. So I'm going to simplify where the eyebrows are going to go and noticing where certain muscles in the head are. I'm just kind of making some marks. Those are just personal little things here. Suggest some of the, the creases in the bandana. Notice how you can see where the, the eyes sink in with the skull here, where the orbits of the skull would be. So I'm going to kind of suggest that a little bit. Again, I'm not worrying about detail. I'm not trying to get his exact eyes shaped just yet. I'm just kind of getting kind of placements here. This is how I'm starting, you know. So basically what I'm trying to show you here is, is a good way to, to, to 
practice as far as sketching. Keep it simple. Get the, f the first shapes. You know, you want to get the shapes. Notice how from underneath the nose here, it's like a straight line here. And then the chin has that kind of angle. So, put in that straight line in. And I'm making my chin a little bit smaller. And I'm going to exaggerate the shape like this. His neck comes in like this. His jawbone is right here. So it's a little bit higher than the chin. There's like a little bit of shading in there to suggest. Okay, and again, um, let's look. Let's go back to the mouth area. Okay, so basically have have mark here now. Um, you can put a few, you know, lines in here to suggest, uh, you know, his facial hair if you want. Um, now for the ear. I got how high I want the ear to go, so I'm going to try to focus a little bit here on that shape. Again, the guy's got a lot of earrings in his ear, but that is not something that's important, so I'm not going to waste my time in my sketch drawing earrings. Look at the shape the character of that ear. Okay. Alright, so got the the basic adjustment or adjustments to the ear here. Now if I want I can put a couple, you know, quick suggestions. There's his earrings, the back of his head suggests a little bit more of the of the cloth on his uh, bandana if you like. It's very important that I show the roundness of the back of his head here as it comes down and his neck. He's got these great creases in his neck which I like. It's the kind of thing I like to draw and render. Again, I'm not going to draw the exact shapes curve for curve on that bandana. I'm just going to kind of suggest instead. For now, anyway. When I go to paint or whatever, I would I would probably spend a little bit more time defining that. But in the sketch, I'm just trying to get these basic shapes down. So can you see what I was when I'm talking about when I say uh, his bird-like features? You want to try to get out of um, you know being too portrait-like. Uh, try to simplify as much as you can. Okay, so um, I'm going to save a copy of this for you. Um, if you want a copy, just let me know and I can email it to you. Um, so there we go. So yeah, basically keep it simple. Don't worry about details. Try to capture character in a, the most simplest way by observing the anatomy, the structure, you know, the unique qualities of that person's face. But even like when, when we're coming down here, for example, when I was doing the, the eyes, look at where the placement of the eyes should be. Notice the curves and the shapes, but you don't have to waste your time and spend every moment getting those exact exact shapes. Just simplify the form as much as you can and get it down there. Um, if you can do quick sketches like this, keep it simple. Um, you can do a lot more of them quickly rather than spending all this time rendering a drawing that um, you know is more portrait like or isn't as accurate with the likeness or character. Instead, spend your time exploring the possibilities um, that you can give yourself. 
So, all right, uh, let's talk about your next drawing.